Hey, what's up, guys? So we're uh, checking out a older retro game today. It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game for uh, Nintendo. This is actually one of the first uh, teen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games uh, out there. And I remember this game when I was a, a kid, and it's really, you know, I thought a pretty good game. I actually love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, not just when they were just a, a kitty cartoon. I actually watched. Sorry, I actually. Uh, liked them when I was um, into the comic books and the comic books actually wasn't a kiddie comic book it was actually pretty violent then they got popular and uh, came out with a TV show and became these pizza loving dudes and all that sort of stuff but in any case um, yeah it's still a pretty fun game I mean at the end of the day you know it's a retro game, game so the, the graphics are not going to hold a, hold a candle um, to what's out there today but the gameplay itself is still pretty fun uh, basically, um, you know, you got this uh, top-down mix between a top-down view and a side-scroller view. Most of what you do is on a side-scroller view. Uh, you basically have to. You can use all these different uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, you can switch between them um, in between the mission. Uh, all of them have their different strengths, advantages. Like Donatello has a little bit more reach and power. Um, you have someone like Raphael's got a little bit more speed. Um, but not necessarily a lot of power and you have someone like Leonardo uh, with in between so um, the game is uh, yeah it's, it's pretty creative and and uh, it's gameplay uh, and uh, you know some of the different ways to um, you know beat the enemy but uh, there are some annoyances in terms of um, the game can be um, slightly difficult I mean it's still not so difficult like I wouldn't give it Ninja Gaiden or uh, Mega Man uh, hard type game where, where basically you just get frustrated and get really, you know, it makes it impossibly hard at times. Um, but it can be hard. There are some times where, you know, just even little things like when you walk off the screen, any, you know, character that you killed in, in the uh, previously basically, you know, you can, uh, you know, they respawn again. Uh, also, just certain hard jumps. You do certain jumps and, and you have to do it exactly in a certain way or you got to start the whole level again so you know there can be some some hard parts in the game but it's not I don't think it's actually overwhelming I think it just gives the right amount of uh, challenge so um, so basically you can get this if you have a Nintendo you can get the old cartridge but I don't think a lot of people do that uh, easiest way is just basically just to have a, a Super Nintendo sorry Nintendo emulator it's just the 8-bit Nintendo emulator and uh, get off, get the game off like Cool ROM or something like that, and uh, get it that way. So, um, yeah, it's it's you know it's a pretty good game. I found it pretty pretty diversified, and uh, especially for a game that was you know it's based off of um, you know it's based off a, a, a brand. Usually, games that are based off a brand like a, like a movie or or um, you know stuff like that, they tend to sometimes be a little bit lackluster because they they just sort of focus on they sort of take after the brand itself and and don't really add in any value to it so um yeah so i i'd recommend checking out if you want a, a quick you know uh uh fun game to play uh teenage mutant Ninja turtles is is great great thing is you play it with emulators you can save on your exact spot i mean i still think a lot of retro games still have their uh place in today's gaming um not just because of the fact that they are um you know, nostalgic for some people, but um, I think older retro games have aged a lot better than than 3D games. You know, like really, they weren't trying to be realistic. They had 2D graphics, so you know the difference between the 2D graphics now and then. You know, it's still relatively, you know, it's not that much different. Just more better resolution, more colors. Where you look at something like um, um, you know a 3D game, it doesn't really uh, translate it doesn't really actually age as well because it, it's it's a, an attempt at being real or or having reality. So you look at something that's that's you know uh, a 3D game in 1998 and look at it now and it really looks to to show its age. So I think 2D games hold their their age a lot better. But yeah, if you're just trying something different, something free, I'd say check it out. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, you got nothing to lose. So um, I think you might enjoy it and. Uh, some retro gaming. Happy gaming.